Okay, well, I had a lot of fun making this little alcohol stove out of an aluminum can. So I looked around on YouTube for YouTube for something else I might be able to make uh, out of an aluminum can. And that's it right there. That's the uh, Jim Larson design, I, I guess. Uh, I modified it some, but that's a Stirling engine. And it's running off a little bit of heat coming off the stove. And it's got a heat differential between there and there. There's some ice in the top. And a piston goes up and down here, and it causes a pressure here, and things go roundy round. And uh, I had a great deal of fun making that. That uh, it was uh, several days to do the research on it, like all these little projects, and figure out how it was working and what was going on. But uh, here's one I really recommend for anybody. Just uh, there's books out on it, and there's tons and tons of videos on how to build these things. And uh, I had a lot of fun building that little Sterling engine. And uh, there's some really, really good designs out there. But one of the things I thought about was, um, I wonder if there's a way to, to make one of these run with a very, very low temperature differential, what they call an LTD, um, and get something like this. Or this. And these are my two forever devices that uh, they run all the time. Uh, they're not perpetual motion machines. Um, I don't believe in that, to tell you the truth, because even the universe is going to stop someday. But that never stops. It gets enough energy through um, the ambient solar light during the day to fill that capacitor up and then uh, light in the house here at night. But it never stops. It's been running for weeks and weeks. And that's a 10 farad supercapacitor. It's not a battery. And these are these little um, polycene um, capacitors that uh, are in there. But anyway, I, I thought, I wondered if there's a way to make a Stirling engine um, that would work on such a low temperature differential that you could use uh, just the heat from the sun and then uh, the uh, possibly the heat from the earth to have something that ran all the time. And I'm sure they've got them, but uh, it would be, have to be something that you could make on your kitchen countertop. You know, something like that that's just really, really simple, simplistic. I don't know, just my thought, but uh, it would be really cool if you could make something like that. Like that. Thanks for watching.